Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. To my subscribers, thank you guys so much for sticking with me. And to the newbies, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss a video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my skincare routine that cleared those little tiny annoying bumps under my skin and is helping me get rid of my hyperpigmentation. If you are new to this channel, I have had acne for over two years and it's so annoying. I feel like I finally have control of my skin and I'm just loving my skin without makeup. I'm liking my skin with makeup. And you know if you have acne, it's hard to cover acne with makeup because the bumps are still there. You can't cover texture. Makeup doesn't really help when you have active pimples. <laughs> I will insert some pictures of how my skin has looked in the past, um, like the past two years. It has been horrible. Um, I just remember sometimes I would just cry because I had no control of what was going on. Like I didn't know if my body freaked out because I had a baby. Like I didn't know what was going on with my skin I did not have control whatsoever TMI but I am on my period right now and I have no active pimples like my face is 10 times clearer than it has ever been in the past two years so before I actually show you guys what my routine is I want to tell you guys a vitamin that I've been taking that I feel like has helped my skin a lot I've been taking this for the past four months and I feel like it really does help keep my skin clear it's the Ali flawless complexion vitamin I get this from Target I don't think I'll ever stop taking these vitamins because they taste good and I feel like they work for my skin. It has a ton of vitamins in here like vitamin A, D3, E, B6, it has zinc, it also has selenium in it which is really good for your skin and it has dandelion extract which is really good for your skin as well. Trust me guys I've done a lot of research on vitamins and skin and this is the one vitamin that I found that actually has a lot of natural products in it that help your skin kind of cleanse itself so we're gonna move into my nighttime skincare routine on days that I'm wearing makeup I like to use a oil cleanser I love the DHC one as well as the Clinique cleansing balm they're both really really good tonight I'm gonna use the cleansing balm by Clinique and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger that was actually a little too much you can use like a pea sized amount of this and it'll take your makeup off so I'm just rubbing that into my skin on dry skin my skin is not wet at all and you just kind of rub that in and it just really melts your makeup off and it just gets that first layer of makeup off so that you are really cleansing your face really really well next I'm going in with the Garnier micellar water this stuff is great it has no scent it's really good for sensitive skin and this just kind of takes that second layer of makeup off you would think that the makeup is gone after you oil cleanse but it's definitely not gone as you will see this cotton pad is just disgusting still and it still has makeup on it so I love to use that after the oil cleanser next I'm going in with my African black soap by Shea Moisture this is a body bar and this has been a lifesaver okay a lifesaver and I use my black soap um, with the vanity planet spin brush I actually do have a 70% off discount code in the description box for you guys to use if you would like to purchase one because I love this I've been using it for years I like to take that brush and kind of just spin it in the African black soap and just kind of go in on my face. Now, I have tried so many products in the past. I've actually tried raw African black soap and it burned my face. So I was a little nervous to try this one, but honestly, I could use this twice a day with my spin brush and not burn. This is a very, very good bar for my face and my skin is I would say fairly sensitive because that raw African black soap burnt my skin. This soap was the key to clearing those little tiny little bumps on my skin. No other cleanser has cleared my skin almost immediately and kept it clear. So I'm in love with that soap. The next thing that I like to do is go in and exfoliate my skin. Sometimes I use a physical exfoliant. These are some examples of the physical exfoliants that I like. I love the Sand and Sky one as well as the Freeman Apple Cider Vinegar Scrub and Mask. They're really, really good. And some nights I like to go in with a chemical exfoliant. Chemical exfoliants are exfoliants that have a gentle or a low amount of acids in them to actually get rid of the dead skin on the top layer of your skin. So if that makes sense, 
I really like using chemical exfoliants when my skin is a little irritated and cannot take the abrasiveness of a physical scrub. But tonight, my skin is okay. So I'm gonna use my physical scrub. I'm gonna use the apple cider vinegar um, Freeman mask slash scrub. This stuff is great. I usually do this in the shower and I leave this on as a mask for about five minutes. The beads in this are very, very small and they're not abrasive at all, but they do get rid of that dead skin. And this scrub, just exfoliating in general, just really helps my skin to glow and get rid of any impurities and dark marks. So I don't know about you, but my skin changes from time to time. So when I'm breaking out, I like to use these masks. I love using the Mario Badescu drying mask as well as the Ofra uh, Volcanic Clarifying Mask. That's a really, really nice mask to get rid of any pimples you have. As well as the Aztec Secret Healing Clay. That's amazing for getting rid of any impurities in the skin as well. And if I'm feeling kind of dry because I do use a Dapoline gel, I like to use a hydrating mask. This fresh one is really, really good. This is the Rose Face Mask. And I love the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Mask. These are amazing and the hydration is there. Like, I love it. So most of the time, I just rinse my face mask off in the shower. It just makes it 10 times easier to get everything off. After that, I go in and moisturize. First, what I like to do is target my dark spots with my Natanola. Then I go in with my eczema cream if I have a breakout, like an eczema breakout. And about every three nights, I will replace my Natanola with my different gel. And I put this all over my face. This really, really helps to get rid of any impurities in the skin as well. I'm going to go in with my Natanola tonight. And I just put that on my dark spots. I don't put it anywhere else because this is a really harsh, like, hydrocoat. Bean, I want to say cream and it's really really harsh so I only put it in the spots that I need it and then I go in with my eczema cream if I need that next I go in and use this tea tree oil from Walmart and then I also use my Bahi sunflower sweet serum now this tea tree oil from Walmart I've been using for years it's very comparable to the Bahi sunflower sweet serum so if you can't afford the Bahi one get the one from Walmart I'm telling you it has sunflower oil in it it has jojoba oil in it it's very very similar but I tend to use both I bought the Bahi one so I'm gonna use it <laughs> and I use both of those and just really give myself a face massage and it feels nice and these help to keep my face hydrated and smooth Next, I go in and treat any pimples that I do have. I use my tea tree oil from Trader Joe's as well as my Mario Badescu um, drying lotion. These two together will get rid of a pimple overnight. These are great if you use them combined. So I use the tea tree oil and then I dip my Q-tip in my Mario Badescu drying lotion and just spot treat. And I also like to spot treat my dark spots. I use the Mario Badescu whitening mask. And this has kojic acid in it. I leave this on my dark spots overnight. And I swear in the morning they look 10 times lighter. <laughs> like it's such a good spot treatment for dark spots. And I've been using this for a while too. It's really, really good. And I go to bed looking like this. But you know, your girl's going though. But she has white spots on her face. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys my morning routine. In the morning, I'm tired per usual. <laughs> then I use a washcloth it is like steaming hot not steaming hot but it's pretty hot and I just kind of open my pores with that and get rid of those um, spot treatments that I have on my face from the night before and I just kind of rub the washcloth on my face and then I use my black soap from Shea Moisture I literally take the whole bar and just put it on my face I'm lazy in the morning like skincare routine in the morning like is simple so I just rub that all over my face and then I take my hands and I just rub the product into my skin at first just to kind of get a good lather. I don't like to exfoliate too, too much in the morning, but I do need to exfoliate twice a day. So that's why I use my washcloth. So I take my washcloth, kind of put it over my fingers, dip it back in the soap and just kind of exfoliate my skin lightly with the washcloth. A washcloth is very exfoliating. I never really realized it, but it is. And I just take that and really get into my skin and exfoliate it. And I feel like using a washcloth really helps my face to glow as well. And then I just rinse that off with my towel using some hot water again. Just kind of getting rid of any of the excess soap. And then I go in with my essential oils again. I use my tea tree oil from Walmart that has a blend of different oils in it as well as my 
Bahi serum so I use both of those and I apply it to my face I don't put as much oil in the day as I do as at night but I just rub that in and give myself another face massage for about a minute or two and then I apply my sunscreen sunscreen is very important for everyone especially if you have hyperpigmentation I use the polish choice clear sunscreen this does not break me out and it does not have a tint to it so you do not look like a ghost when you walk out of the door thank you guys for watching that skincare routine it was a long time coming i hope you guys enjoy it leave me a comment down below and i'll see you in the next one